We're gonna do this on Instagram also as well. A lot of these links are on Instagram. Uh, if you're just joining us, uh, welcome to the Limitless uh, Reading Challenge. This is where uh, we are committing to reading uh, 20 pages a day. 20 pages a day, inch by inch, it's a cinch. Little by little, a little becomes a lot. That if you did about 20 pages of reading a day, that equates to um, almost 30, it's about 30 books a year. Can you imagine? 30 books a year. That if um, people have seen me online, uh, then social media with, uh, you know, it, individuals like Oprah or Elon Musk or Will Smith, we bonded over, over reading. And I did this Insta story with, with Will Smith, who were happy he did the, uh, the endorsement for, uh, for Limitless on the cover. And he said, I said, what's two things you do to keep your mind sharp? And it was, uh, he's like, I run and I read. I have to do something physical every day. I have to do something mental every day. And reading is to your mind what exercise is to your body. So if um, you're joining us on Instagram, welcome. Um, we're actually over at... Uh, limitlessbook.com forward slash challenge. The link is in the uh, in my Instagram profile. So please go there and you can see the chat. We have over 1,400 people live on Zoom. We have our Facebook group lit up, um, 114,000 people part of that group and a uh, good thousand people on Instagram watching live. So let's get into it. For the next, uh, less, little less, for this next hour or so, Jen and I are gonna walk you through a process Yesterday, we covered the basics of speed reading, how to improve your reading speed, your reading focus. If you want to see the replay, again, please um, join our app. Just search your, um, there's a link in uh, my Instagram profile for the app, or just search Quick Brain, K W I K Brain, and you can download our app for free, and you can get to watch the replays for free, and there's lots of great training there. Also, we're going to be doing memory assessments and all this fun stuff in there, so make sure you join that and, uh, and share this. Um, I believe that Limitless was, we were very happy, Jenna. Um, and again, uh, for those of you who are not on Zoom, I'm um, here talking um, with our Limitless librarian, Jenna. And uh, with so many book clubs, we used Limitless as like their first book and inspired a lot of book clubs. And uh, I encourage everybody here to have a reading buddy because it not only will improve your ability, and I'm gonna talk about comprehension drills you could do and speed reading drills you could do with a uh, learning buddy, um, but also it just increases your enjoyment also as well. So I also wanna thank on top of that, our team that's behind the scenes making this happen, Alexis, Courtney, and, and more um, that's here answering your questions on Facebook and also in Zoom. And uh, now let's do this. All right, so first, and it's a good thing, the new app, the new app is launched. So you can go there and thank you to all our students. Um, we have students who are joining us from nine, uh, 195 countries uh, who have taken our three week speed reading program. Write this down, it's uh, jimquick.com forward slash special. And I believe that link is also in my, uh, in my Instagram profile. You could join our course, it's just a 21 day course. It's like doing this for 21 days with us and uh, only 15 minutes a day, but it's guaranteed to triple your reading speed. But not only that, improve your focus, your comprehension, your concentration, your, um, your retention, and also your reading enjoyment. Um, this is, <clears throat> this is recorded. Let me just ring my, I always think that, uh, it's always great to have, a. the recordings are all in the app. So uh, exclusively in the app. So you could be able to do that. Uh, we did this thing, uh, one book a week club and we're doing beverage and a, and a book, book and beverage. You love our t-shirt. Yeah. You could get any of our shirts at uh, jimquake.com and we donate the proceeds to charity for uh, children's education. Um, I believe that uh, what you see, you take care of. And that's why I always wear these brain shirts, right? Our team wears these brain shirts because you see your hair, you take care of your hair, you see your skin, you see your car, you see your clothing, but you don't see the thing that controls everything, which is your brain. So I always, always love to uh, um, mugs. Um, yes. When you share this, we are gifting uh, this week 10 of these uh, brain boxes. And uh, there are a lot of goodies in here. Sub, uh, superfoods for your brain and uh, books, signed books. And, uh, and also I put books from podcasters. Like this one happens to be Motivation Manifesto uh, by Brendan Burchard um, because a lot of you want to be improve your motivation to, uh, to finish these books, right? To, to be able to dial in. So um, we are gifting that. And Jenna, I believe it's what they do is they hashtag, they tag myself, you, you could tag at quick learning so we see it. We'll repost some of our favorites. Uh, take a picture of uh, either this video, take a picture of the book that you're reading, hashtag limitless challenge, and, um, and we're gonna give away 10 of these brain boxes um, this week, as well as other fun stuff. 
And this is honestly, we just want to make reading fun. We want to create a movement of, of readers because that we believe again, readers are leaders. You like the mug too, it's really nice. Yes, we include a brain mug. This one happens to be from our podcast. So every every single box is a little bit different. But this is just to give you some inspiration, get the mindset right. Um, I think it's amazing. 30 books, if you, if you read 20 minutes, a, uh, excuse me, 20 pages a day, um, that's 30 books a year. And if somebody has decades of experience on negotiation, on relationships, on health and wellness, on uh, crypto, whatever you're interested in, right? And you can sit down and read that book in a few days. You could download decades in a days. And you could post it on Twitter, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, Instagram, any of that. Thank you for all the positivity also. This is your positive peer group. You've heard Jen and I talk a lot about, uh, you know, the f 10 keys to unlocking your limitless brain. And one of them is having a community, right? How do you become limitless in a limited world? We do it together. So let's everyone grab a book, um, hashtag again, and everybody support each other here. That's how we do it. So this is our community. Uh, whether you're watching this in a private Facebook group, if you're watching it in the app, if you're watching it on Zoom, if you're watching it on Instagram, uh, a lot of these questions that are coming up, um, you know the answers too. So please answer answer those questions and, and support each other because that's how we do it. Now, this challenge, there's a lot of challenges going on uh, with um, some of these challenges have dozens of experts, which is amazing. And you get to get you know these little uh, bites of information. This is going deep in one subject, reading, okay? So yesterday we talked about speed reading and I gave you tips on how to improve your reading speed. And most of you improved 25, 50%, which was outstanding. Again, watch the replay in the app uh, yesterday. Um, today, we're going to talk about comprehension and memory. Uh, later this week, we're going to talk about the mindset of a genius readers, which I believe genius leaves clues, genius leaves clues, and also um, motivation, like how to develop the habit of reading on a regular basis. X-Men University, very true that, true that. All right, so everybody has their book, and uh, and just let's let's wake up our, our brain a little bit here. Um, and somebody asked, like, what book recommendations? Um, I have books everywhere. <laughs> I can't turn, I have like three cameras on me right now, but I, I have a, I have a lot of books. <laughs> um, book recommendations, my, my favorites. How to Win Friends, Influence People, Dale Carnegie, Magic of Thinking Big. Uh, what's everyone's favorite book, please? Um, another book, thank you for saying Limitless here, you're very <laughs> awesome. Um, the Magic of Thinking Big, uh, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl, amazing, amazing book. Carol Dweck's book, yes, uh, Mindset, amazing book. And um, how's the volume? Can everyone hear me uh, pretty good? Okay, great. On Instagram also? Facebook? Yes, great. Um, what I'm reading right now, and I'll go through this, um, these are, are all future podcasts. Um, this one is uh, Eat to Beat Depression and Anxiety by my friend, Dr. Drew. Um, great book by Dr. Shafali. It's coming out uh, very soon. Uh, I'm going to do a, an interview with her, A Radical Awakening on the Mindset of Developing Relationships and Parenting. Um, this came out uh, with Greg McEwen. Uh, this podcast was really, it was a big download. Uh, many of you read his first book, Essentialism, which is about doing the right things uh, for the right reasons. Uh, this follow-up book, Effortless, is about saying that a lot of people will do the right things for the right reasons, but they're going about it the wrong way. And so how can you make productivity more effortless and enjoyable? So listen to that podcast. Um, this uh, is coming out next week for those of you who have sleep issues. Uh, this is Peak Sleep Performance for Athletes uh, by one of my uh, good friends. And so um, this is Dr. Shane, who's a uh, sleep doctor specialist. Um, and this interview is coming out soon, Whole Brain Living by Dr. Jill Boltite taylor For Many of you saw her TED Talks, number two TED Talk um, in history, two or three. It was it held the two position for quite a while. And a great, great, great book. Um, uh, it's a brand new book. And she talks about the four characters in your brain and uh, how there's a left brain and right brain. But did you know there's a left brain logical and a left brain emotional and a right brain uh, imaginative, but also logical also as well. So it's really, really great. Um, we could read, how many of you like to read digitally? How many of you like to read uh, paperback, like physical books? I'm just out of curiosity. Paper, paper, physical, physical. <laughs> um, I, I, I love, if people have looked at my books, they're like very highlighted. Audiobooks, yeah, I love audiobooks too. 
Um, Limitless, uh, people ask, there's an extra uh, good two hours of content in the Limitless audiobook because at the end of every chapter, I have a discussion uh, with a good friend of mine and we riffed about that chapter and how to apply that chapter. So some people like to uh, listen to the audiobook while they read. And so everybody has a different, the whole idea here is it's not how smart you are, it's how are you smart. It's not how smart you are, it's how are you smart. And uh, everybody has a different way of learning. And sometimes if you're really interested in a subject, but you're just not getting it, sometimes your learning style is different than a teacher's teaching style. And it's like, if you're experiencing this, Jenna, you're really interested in a subject normally, but like maybe you're in a class or an online coaching and you're just not getting it. Maybe sometimes the way that you like to learn is different than the way the teacher prefers to teach. And you're like two ships in the night and you pass each other and you don't even know the other one's there, right? There's no connection of material. So when you understand how you learn best, and some people love reading, learning through audios, and I'm totally down with that. You know, I listen, when you listen to an audio or listen to our podcast, how many of you listen to Quick Brain? Don't you love that it's like, we don't know, no, no sponsors, no advertisers. We just get to the 15 minutes of content. You know, it's one of the most binge listened to uh, last year uh, shows on Spotify. And because it's only 15 minutes, so you can listen to four or five or six episodes, you know, on different subjects, how to learn another language, how to um, change your habits, and the best brain foods, how to memorize a TED talk. And again, all these links you could find online. Just search up, search my name. And so let's jump into it. Now that everyone is here, you have your notebook, you have a book that you're practicing with. This is probably the same book that you used yesterday. Um, and uh, gratitude, yes, I'm grateful for you. <laughs> you do not have to wait for a greater life to feel grateful. Feel grateful and by far you'll have a greater life. Just, just remember that. Um, so that's the podcast. So let's go into this. Again, if you're just joining us, we, this is about the Limitless Reading Challenge. Uh, challenge to get you reading 20 pages a day, 30 books a year. Everyone's reading different. Now, what I would say is, and thank you for answering each other's questions because we have each other's backs and we have each other's brains, um, is how do, you, how do you do this, right? Yesterday we talked about reading speed and I gave you a number of tips on how to read faster. We talked about regression and sub-vocalization, using visual pacers uh, to boost your speed and your focus. And because your focus is better, your comprehension is better also as well. Um, but remember, knowledge by itself is not power, it's potential power. A lot of people buy books and they sit on your shelf, but it becomes shelf help and not real self-help, right? And you've heard me say these things because repetition, they say is the mother of learning, repetition is the mother of memory also. So I'll say it over and over again, but make sure you subscribe. Also, by the way, somebody asked about YouTube, our YouTube channel actually gives you the full conversation. So some of these conversations that I had um, with uh, um, like, the author of Essentialism and uh, Jill, Dr. Jill Bolte Taylor is longer than 20 minutes, so we'll put the full unedited. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel also as well. But we keep the audio version on iTunes, on Spotify, Pandora, and so on, uh, so 20 minutes. So we want to make it. <clears throat> Good question. We have two bonus chapters for Limitless, and uh, Jen and I are going to publish them uh, later this month. Um, they've been updated for the the current environment of this past 12 months. And so we're doing a version uh, uh, 2.0, if you will, limitless for children. And uh, so that's great for parents. It's great for uh, teachers and also limitless uh, for teams. And so for business applications, how to be able to, uh, people know that I do trainings at uh, you know Facebook and Google and SpaceX and uh, Nike. Um, how to build learning organizations. So those are two bonus questions. Uh, and uh, the links for the bonuses are actually at uh, limitlessbook.com. Limitlessbook.com. And uh, we donated 100% of the proceeds to Limitless to charity. Um, we've done multiple six-figure donations on my author proceeds. So every dollar went to a good cause. Uh, Alzheimer's research um, for women. Uh, women are twice as likely to experience Alzheimer's than, than men. Yet most of the research is done on male brains and treatments on male brains. Um, that's a memory of my grandmother who, who passed of Alzheimer's and um, education for children who don't have access. So we built schools in Guatemala, Kenya, Ghana, um, all around the world, and we'll continue to do so. And th with your support, I believe you learn to earn to be able to return. And, um, and that's, that's our mission is to build better brains. No brain left behind, okay? So comprehension, here we go. There, there are three keys to better comprehension. And I want you to write these down. There are three R's. 
the first R is you need to be able to read. <laughs> like the, like there's, there's reading speed and reading comprehension. You don't want to have one without the other, right? And uh, traditional speed reading classes, if everyone's ever taken a traditional one, because they've been around for quite a few decades, um, is more skimming and skipping words and getting the gist of what you read. Now, uh, Woody Allen has a quote that says, I took a speed reading course, I read War and Peace. It's about Russia. <laughs> and that, that's not the goal, right? You don't want to read the, the, all that and just not remember anything. And so um, uh, the goal is to have to understand what you read and also apply what you read. And so the goal, um, the first key is to read. And read, I would recommend uh, using the parameters that we talked about yesterday. You know, the reading techniques we talked about yesterday, like using a visual pacer, because your visual focus leads your mental focus. Your visual focus leads your mental focus. So that would be very important. Um, and then the second R after read for better comprehension is I want you to write. And I say that R-I-T-E, just to, you know, how I, everyone here knows how I like to alliterate and use like, this is the six C's and these are the four G's to, you know, a, a, a champion's mindset. And then this is the, uh, the, the six C's to uh, what to do with your cocooning. Um, so write, R-I-T-E. You know that when you learn something within 48 hours, you forget what percentage, who, where are our students, you know the exact number. Put it in, the, in this chat, 80%, 80%. Great, and this is the active recall because one of the things I do in terms of my teaching, and people ask like, do you have you know quick brain coaches? Uh, if you are interested in becoming a coach and me training you, uh, maybe you are a coach already or maybe you're a teacher or an educator or you wanna learn these skills on how to teach people so they have better focus and memory and recall the information. And maybe you're an expert in marketing but you wanna make it stick better um, then um, we're, stay tuned because we have some really cool things. And plus, if you're looking for a coach, we're training some amazing individuals who transparently, they're better than I am in some of these areas because they're just, they practice. You know, they, they, they while they, I could remember 50 people's names, some people could do more while I could rattle off, you know, pi 3.14159 or just, just on. Some people have memorized pi to like 5,000 digits using our techniques. Um, you know, anything like the books of the Bible, somebody asked for scripture, we're talking about books of the Bible and we were like, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, just like whatever you need to be able to do. Um, so if you want to be hooked up with a coach, um, that's, you know, we've trained people over the years also as well. So really fun stuff. But going back to writing, R-I-T-E, first you read, then you write, is if you want to, you don't want to lose 80% of what you just learned through a podcast or an online coaching or a book, then take notes. Right, and I teach a very specific way of taking notes. Now, by the way, write doesn't stand for anything. It's just writing notes. And uh, y if you read Limitless, there's a whole section of the book. And depending on, now many of you also, by the way, it's in every language. So wherever you are in the world, I believe it's in 30 different countries. So like, I just, I don't have time to go through like, like all, the, all, the, all the different uh, languages that it's in, but this is, uh, Everybody can benefit. I believe we're in the millennium. This is the millennium of the mind, everybody. That nobody who's watching this is paid solely for your brute strength. It's not like it was 100 years ago. It's your brain strength, right? It's not your muscle power, it's your mind power. Now, when you take notes to mitigate that forgetting curve, do you take it digitally or do you handwrite notes? It is available in French, the book, absolutely. Do you, do you prefer to, um, it is in Russian also. I don't know, I, I know all the, I don't know if it's between handwriting. Same thing, it's interesting. Like, like, uh, do you prefer, Jenna, digital or handwriting notes? I think um, I remember more when I write out notes. Like if I type a to-do list on my phone, yeah. it's harder for me. But if I write it down on paper, yeah. I hardly have to reference it. We did a podcast on manifestation and the first step of manifesting anything, you know, taking the invisible, making it visible is writing it down because you just manifested something in the physical reality outside of yourself. And I, I, I like digital note-taking because it's, it's, um, it's easy to store, it's easy to share, but I always prefer the studies done in terms of comprehension and retention, handwriting notes. When you handwrite notes, there's something magical that happens. Plus notice that most of you could uh, type really well um, and you could type pretty, I don't know, I talk pretty fast, <laughs> but most people could talk, type as fast as somebody could talk but you can't write as fast as somebody could talk. And so it forces you to what? 
to filter and to actually to, to, to prioritize the information. And so you're gonna write it, um, you know, just the things that really matter to you. So I like handwriting notes. Uh, for me, I put a line down the page and on the left side I capture, on the right side I create. And I just wanna remind you, if you heard me say some of these fundamentals, um, first of all, the experts love the basics. They love leaning into the fundamentals because that's where the power comes from. And um, also, it's an honor to, to see you here too also as well. Um, just responding, I'll speed reading the comments also as well. Uh, but here, here we go. But it's also, if you want to go deeper again, go to jimquick.com forward slash special. And that link is on our Instagram, right? This week, we are offering our speed reading memory, our focus program, our thinking program, student program, all 50% off and donating a big portion of that to charity um, also as well. We committed to just doing another $100,000 for Pencils of Promise um, for building schools and healthcare and clean water for, uh, for girls and uh, boys who have no access to education. So that is that. So on the left side, I capture, on the right side, I create. So what does that mean? On the left side of the page, I am note taking. On the right side, note making. Now that's a subtle difference. On the left side, you're reading a nonfiction book and you're writing down the strategies that you're learning, the great quotes, right, the processes. But if your mind's gonna wander, I don't want your imagination to take you elsewhere. Because if you ever read a page in a book, got to the end, just forgot what you just read, your mind gets easily distracted, your, your mind wanders, right? I'd rather wander on the right side of the page. And that's where you're gonna write your impressions of what you're capturing, okay? So you're gonna make notes. Because the human brain does not learn just by consumption, it learns also through creation. And that's really the goal here because, you know, our education system for a lot of it, it trained us to be passive and we had to consume information because we we're lectured. But we actually know um, based on neuroscience and adult learning theory that we learn better when we're trying to actually, uh, when we're co-creating together, when we're re actively retrieving. Because learning like life is not a spectator sport. Learning like life is not a spectator sport. So again, and I say these things repetitively and I know they're repetition because I want, to, I want you to integrate this so it becomes more of who you are. So that reading, you don't have to push yourself to read 20 pages a day. You're fully integrated like we talked about the limitless model yesterday. And that middle point, that integration is just who you are. So it's not like, oh, I have to read 20 pages a day. It's your identity is I am a reader. So you don't have to force yourself, right? Because if somebody's identity is I'm a procrastinator, then that's gonna affect their performance. Remember this, the two most powerful words in the English language are the shortest, I am. Because whatever you put after the, that is, is your life, right? It becomes your identity. All behavior is belief driven, right? If you believe that you're not smart enough, if you believe you have a horrible memory, I could teach you a method on how to remember names and faces or teach you how to read twice as fast. But if you believe that you're just not smart enough, you're gonna be still stuck and you're gonna be limited. And this is about becoming limitless, right? It's, it's about, and limitless is not about being perfect. Limitless is about advancing and progressing beyond what you currently believe is possible. Maybe somebody on Instagram could actually type this out. Um, we're encouraging people to go to limitlessbook.com forward slash challenge. And I'll just pin it, limitlessbook.com forward slash challenge so you can watch it on the Zoom. We have 2,000 people on, on Zoom Live right now. We have over 100,000 people in our private Facebook uh, group also as well. We have over we have a good thousand people on Instagram, different things. Um, so take notes and make notes, all right? So you're taking notes on the left side, making notes on, so it's left brain logic, like, like the screen behind me, right brain creativity, imagination. Some of you like to mind map, which is great. I don't know if we have any mind mappers out there. Um, people that uh, really love to, uh, here we go, let me just, perfect, let me just pin this. Thank you. All right, so that's the R. So if you're just joining us, we're talking about three keys for better comprehension, the, the three R's. First R, you read. Read like we talked about yesterday. And again, you can watch the replay in the, in the app. And the app, again, just search Quick Brain, KWIK Brain, free downloads. The second is you write, you take notes about what you're reading. And then finally, the third R is you relate, you relate. Now, what do I mean by relate? Is when I read, I would take some time, maybe two or three minutes after I'm done reading by 20 pages and just talk about what you just read. Now, this is really huge because you've heard Jenna and I talk about this, even when we did Limitless together, for those of you who joined us, I mean, we had Tom Bilyeu and Jay Shetty and, you know, these uh, amazing uh, individuals join 
sharing about mindset and motivation and methodology, but it's called the explanation effect. When you read with the intention of teaching somebody else, you get to learn it twice. And because the explanation effect says that when you explain it to somebody else, then you, you're not just regurgitating somebody else's words, you have to personalize it for yourself, right? You have to reflect on it. When you explain what you just read, even if you're reading fiction to somebody else about who the main characters are and what the plot is and when is it taking place and where is it taking place and what's the motivations behind the characters, it's you're using your own words, right? And that's, you're teaching yourself what it means to comprehension. You become, exactly, you become the expert, right? And so, um, and I want you to be the expert, right? Because the expert's not always the person that's doing the speaking uh, you know, on Zoom. You are, you, you are the memory expert, right? You are the, the learning expert. And so how you become that is by teaching it. You know this quote, those who can't do what? Those who can't do, teach, right? And I, I never thought it was a negative. You know, they, they use it in a negative context where it says, oh, those who can't do business, teach business at business school. But I always, I never thought, I thought it was actually those who can't do something, teach it. Because if I can't do it and I start teaching it, I'll be able to do it. And so that's really great. Um, now, in terms of when you take notes, you don't have to take notes while you're reading. You could read your 20 minutes and then take notes, right? You could go back and just highlight uh, certain things and write notes. For me, for those of you who've gone through our 21 day reading program, you know, I, I use different note taking symbols um, and uh, ways of capturing vocabulary and so on. And we use the memory strategies to learn the vocabulary words, um, basically 10 words a day in five to 10 minutes. And if you can learn 10 new words a day, that's like 300 new words a month, which is amazing because the words you use, I always tell people to watch, right? You wanna watch, W-A-T-C-H, watch. W stands for what? Words, right? Because the words have a lot of power on your brain. The A, your actions. The T in watch, your thoughts. You wanna watch your thoughts. The C in watch, you wanna watch your character. And the H, are your habits. And we wanna make reading a habit for all of you because first you create your habits, then your habits create you. First you create your habits. You create your habits of meditation, of eating the best brain foods, of going to sleep at a certain time, right? Of moving, you know, on a regular basis so you're not sedentary, uh, of, of, all the, of reading, right? Because leaders are, are readers. Um, Subvocalization is something that takes a little time and that's why we do that in the 21 day program. So the T are your thoughts, the C, everyone help each other who's asking questions um, and habits. First you create your habits, then your habits create you. There's a study done at Duke University that we talk about in the book. You know, the book is very highly referenced, lots of footnotes about the research um, because I think everyone needs an owner's manual for their brain. Your brain is the number one wealth building asset that you have. And the faster you can learn, the faster you can earn. Because knowledge today is not only power, knowledge today is what? It's profit. Right, and so that's that's the world that we live in today. That is, there's this growing divide. It's not just the have and the have-nots. It's those who know stuff and those who don't know. And the more information that you know, the better decisions you can make. And in Limitless, there's there's a quote that says, um, "Life is the C between B and D. Life is C between B and D. B is birth. What does D stand for? Death." C, life, choice, you know? So we always have this choice of, uh, of, of choosing things. And I love how I all of you, and look, look at the, look, you know this as well as I do, for those of you who've been uh, with us, um, you know, in our community and our, our students. And that's the active retrieval. That's the test that you really know something, if you could actively pull it out, right? Where it's not on the tip of your tongue, it's like at your mental fingertips. And you, you, you know, we have a program called Quick Thinking, um, which is strategies on decision-making, problem-solving, creativity, um, and, and the, the real things that are limitless. Because limitless is not about being perfect. Limitless is about advancing. Limitless is about progressing beyond, beyond what you currently believe is, is possible and having each other's backs and brains. So let's get into this. So three keys to reading, to reading comprehension. You read it first, then you write about it, and then you relate. And what I want you to do, if you're willing to do so, is when you read your 20 pages afterwards, take a moment and just take notes on what you read, you know, the highlights of it, and then take two minutes and talk up to somebody else about what you just read, 
all right? And that's the relating. And even if you don't like have somebody with you in the same room to talk about it, call somebody up and say, yes, can't wait to see you this weekend. But you know, I am part of this uh, reading uh, challenge and I, and I promise to talk about what I, listen to what I have to say for, 20, for two minutes. And your partner, if they run out of things to say, right? Like if you run out of things to say, then your partner has to what? Ask questions, right? Because questions are the answer. Questions are the answer. Can you talk to your dog? Absolutely. Um, I, have a, I have my two, uh, two furry babies and uh, talk to them often. You can talk to your plants. You can talk to your cat. You can talk to your pet. Talking to your plants actually is supposed to be good for them. I don't know if it's the carbon dioxide that's actually good for them, but it's, it, it's, you could talk to a bottle of water. You know, you could talk to, um, who you don't want to talk to is yourself. All right. <laughs> so you could talk to anything. So honestly, talking to a bottle of water, there's a bottle of spring water, is not much different than talking to a, a person in terms of comprehension. Well, so you're like, depending on who you hang out with, talking to a bottle of water, uh, and then I'm an object. But the most important thing is you don't talk to yourself because if you just talk in your mind, you're gonna you're not gonna put the effort into it. All right, so that's the relating part. So that's the comprehension. You read like we talked about yesterday with your visual pacer and the techniques we talked about that most of you improved 25 to 50% yesterday alone. If you didn't see yesterday's lesson, make sure you download the app and join us there. Um, then you write notes mind map them, do the note taking, making, uh, capture, create method, whatever you do, or just outline notes, whatever works for you. And then finally take two minutes and talk about what you just read. And here's the thing. It doesn't, it's the little things you do that add up to big things. You know, every expert started as a beginner. Uh, every, every professional, every champion was once an amateur, right? Little by little, little becomes a lot. And if you can't get yourself to do 20 pages a day, then start with two, right? Just start with opening the book. Remember in Limitless, we talk about small, simple steps, S3. Ask yourself this question. What is the tiniest action I could take right now that will give me progress towards my goal where I cannot fail? If you cannot motivate yourself, and we're talking about motivation in a few, in, in later this week and overcoming procrastination, self-sabotage, because it's all a mindset. You have to conquer your mind, right? Um, but the thing is, most people shrink what's possible to fit their mind but they don't think about expanding their mind to fit all that's, that's possible, right? And the goal here is to take an active responsibility for it. Meaning that, um, you've heard me talk about this in the book, but when I got to introduce um, Richard Branson and Stan Lee together, and I'm purposely dropping these names so that when you fly Virgin or you read a comic book, whatever, you see a comic book movie, it reminds you of the lesson, right? But we're going to dinner and in the car I asked Stan, you know, who's your favorite? You've created all these amazing, one of my favorite superheroes, X-Men and Avengers. And, and he's like, Iron Man. And they said, Jim, who's your favorite? And I said, Spider-Man. Because you saw on Instagram, he's this big Spider-Man tie. And with that, without a pause, he goes, with great power comes great. Tell me. With great power, I miss Iron Man too. The spoiler alert. <laughs> um, responsibility, right? And I reverse things, you know, I maybe because I had three traumatic brain injuries before the age of 12. And we have a lot of P our students are, are dyslexic and, you know, they want to learn strategies on how to, I think it's a strength based, I take a very strength based approach to ADD, ADHD, dyslexia, no cure, just how to maximize. Um, and a lot of, if you search like famous people who have dyslexia, oh my goodness, you will be blown away by um, the amount of achievers that are on that list. And it's usually because they think differently. But for me, I reverse words uh, still to this day, things I hear, things I read, um, maybe because, you know, and I've had my brain scans and things I'm still working on. I'm not perfect at this, but um, I heard, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. I reversed it. I said, you know, with great responsibility comes great power. When we take responsibility for something, we have great power to make things better, right? And that's why even if you could see this on video, like I have like a, uh, a portrait of Stan Lee up on top of my office. And um, I don't know, depending on where you're listening to this, I should never remove this because everything gets adjusted. <laughs> um, but he gave that to me and it's all made of candy because he's a big kid and he loves his, he loves his, 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 he loves his sweets. But it's made of like, um, like uh, gum drops and, and uh, different pieces of candy. Um, but it's to remind me that when we have, take responsibility for something, it gives us great power, great power to make things better. Whereas a lot of people want to blame and complain excuses are useless. If you're not getting your 20 pages in a day or you're not doing the things you know you should do, 20 minutes of exercise or whatever, 
you know, like it's, it's not about time management. It's about priority management. <laughs> it's not about time management. It's about priority management. Write this down. The most important thing is to keep the most important thing, the most important thing. The most important thing is to keep the most important thing, the most important thing. And you need to really prioritize the things that are most important. And for me, it should be prioritizing your, your self care and your personal growth, right? Because that's, you shouldn't wait for things to be urgent, you know, in, in order for you to do it, do certain things each day and, and not everyone can do perfect, right? When you don't read your 20 pages in a day, don't beat yourself up. Because studies done on self-compassion show that when you are kind to yourself, instead of beating yourself up, saying I, I, that I'm not good enough, or I would never follow through, you're less likely to follow through. And it's counterintuitive. People think when they beat themselves up, they're motivating themselves to follow through the next day. It's actually the opposite. When you're kind to yourself and say like, hey, I'm human, I had a really long day today, I'm not gonna be able to do this, then you're more likely to follow through in, in the future. So just love yourself. Part of this process, especially this past year, can we talk, <laughs> is falling in love with the person in the mirror who's been through so much, but you're still standing. You know, like, for, I don't know who needs to hear this right now, but you remember that time when you thought you couldn't survive? Well, you did, right? And you will again, right? Because you're, 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 you're watching us, you're here with us. So we're all on this journey to realize and reveal our fullest potential. And I believe there's a version of ourselves that we haven't met yet. And the goal is we show up for ourselves every single day until we're introduced to that person. There is a version of ourselves that we haven't yet met. We just show up every single day. We play full out. We do the best we can. Uh, we work smart. We work hard. We're kind to others. And, and we'll meet that person, right? And, but the goal is to keep the most important thing, the most important thing. Now, how does that relate to reading? Um, somebody's asking, and I'll, I'll go into Q&A in a moment. Um, can't wait to meet you, you in person also as well, Susie and everybody else that's here. Um, I can't wait to do live events. We had 34 speaking engagements set up for the launch of Limitless. The book came out exactly a, what, not 12 months ago. And, uh, but it just, every single thing was canceled, right? It's just, so we can't wait, we had a national book tour, everything planned, but uh, we can't wait to do uh, Limitless meetups with, with all of you. So we get, to, we get to spend time with you and, and see you. And uh, as things open up, we'll let people know, just make sure that you, um, go to jimquick.com and you get our newsletter every single week with all the new announcements and all that good stuff because you're not in it alone. I know what it feels like to be alone when I have my learning challenges. I, I would pretend to understand, but I didn't really understand. And I felt like I was very, very alone, but um, we're not. We have this community and that's why we work doing this so that way we could create an environment where the best of us shows up on a regular basis. But if people ask me all the time, what's the one thing that has changed your life? Um, it was reading and it wasn't always that way. It took me three years longer to learn how to read. My teachers would have been surprised if I read a book, much less, much less wrote a book, if we could really talk. But that's really what it is. You wanna be a forced multiplier. Reading is a forced multiplier. And that's a great um, word, Jeanette. So it's, uh, how many of you listened to the podcast we did about working and reading smart versus working on reading hard? And I, I filmed it in, a, in an actual power plant. And so the, the story, the quick story goes, and there's lessons in every single one of this, working hard versus working smart, how to actually do it. People say work smart, not hard, but how do you do it? And we did an episode where I was like, uh, we're in a power, imagine a power plant that's really, really busy. And then one day the power plant just stops and it's just complete silence. Can you imagine that? And everyone's freaking out. And they're trying to fix it for a couple of hours and nothing works. And then the manager doesn't know what to do. So he picks up the phone, he calls the local technician, says, you got to help me. We're in a lot of trouble. He's like, you're lucky. I'm right around the corner. Shows up. He walks around the, uh, the, the floor there. Lots of beams, lots of, you know, uh, on all these beams there, there are all these uh, electrical boxes. He goes to one specific beam, one specific electrical box, puts a big X on it, opens it up inside screws, uh, wires, he goes to one specific screw, turns it, and what happens? Bam, the entire power plant lights up. And the manager's like, thank you so much, you saved the day, how much do I owe you? And he looks him right in the eye and said, that'll be $10,000. And he's like, what? He's like, flap, flabbergasted. Like, how can you justify that? You were only here for five minutes. You turn one screw, give me the uh, invoice, like break that down for me, the charges. He's like, no problem. He takes out a notebook out of his back pocket, scribbles, hands it to him, 
He's like, I understand. Goes to his desk, writes out a check, $10,000, gives it to the man. You look at the invoice, it says this, turning screw, $1. Knowing what screw to turn, $9,999, right? And you guys know this because you read, you, you know, you've read it in the book and you heard it on my audio book and you might have heard this parable, different forms. But the idea here is what I want you to know, the lessons though, number one, is, is not that you have a screw loose. I'm not suggesting that, but, but I am suggesting Number one, that first of all, knowledge, applied knowledge is really a power that if you're, that um, your, your value in the world today is the things that you know, you're paid for the power of your mind. Um, and that's not what's going to be easily outsourced to automation and uh, artificial intelligence. That's what's limitless, right? You know, our ability, there's no limit to your creativity, no limit to your ability to solve problems. There's no limit to, uh, to our, our imagination, right? Imagination is power. But it's, the other thing is, the faster you can learn, the faster you can earn, and that's your profit, because we always have to adjust and learn new subjects and catch up, keep up, and also get ahead. But the other thing is, there was one screw that turned everything else on, and those are the things that we teach. You know, I, I, I call it a, like this, this focal point. A focal point is that one, is that, that people talk about it like a lead domino. You have one domino and the other ones like fall, like fall just because of that one leverage point. So I'm always looking for what are the what are the focal points, the, the tiny little screws we could turn to turn on your focus, to make you more brilliant, to give you greater confidence, to change negative thinking that holds you back, to reform your habits, to be able to eat the best brain food diet and everything else like that. So we keep it really simple. And that's really what it's all about. And that's why um, so many of you, thank you. We have like almost 10,000 ratings, uh, reviews on, um, on Amazon alone a good almost 4,000 uh, reviews on our podcast as well. But that, that's all you because we're doing it together. And that, that's what we want to be able to, to be able to help people do this. Name of the app, if you're just joining us, is called Quick Brain. And by sharing uh, limitlessbook.com forward slash challenge, tagging me, tagging at Quick Learning on it, on Instagram, on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on Facebook, we're actually gifting away uh, these brain boxes. This, the box actually is a custom brain, but you'll see it. But just books of, uh, signed books, books of our uh, past podcast guests, um, some fun brain foods in there. A lot of you know what our brain foods are, um, apparel, mugs, all that fun stuff. So we're going to give away 10 of those at least this week, as well as uh, online speed reading courses, memory courses, focus courses, student success programs, and so on. Just hashtag limitless challenge, limitless challenge, and whatever you do. And make sure you tag us so we get to see it. I'll repost some of our favorites. Take a picture of this video right now or like screenshot it if you're watching on Instagram or if you're watching on Facebook, you know, also as well. Or, or take a picture of your book that you're reading. What are you doing? The, what 20 pages are you reading every single day? And remember the three keys I taught you today, simple things. We try to keep it so simple because they're simple screws to turn. Read, write, relate, right? Yesterday it was just... Here's the, visual, here's the limitless model, mindset, motivation, methods. Here's the visual pacer, right? Here's asking different questions. And you're, everything changes from those little things, right? And so anyone can make, see, here's the thing. Some of these questions are really great. Limitless is in Spanish, 100%. Um, here's the thing. It's, thinking is good, but overthinking and wanting things to be perfect is not good. You know, overthinking could stop progress before it even happens. So don't wait till you're an expert speed reader to be able to, to start something like this. Start small, right? Do little by little, you know, because anyone can make things more complicated. My goal is to kind of tell these stories and these parables and use these metaphors, different way of looking things. Because once you're, there's a, there's, a, there's a phrase that I put in the book that I just changed. Uh, everyone's heard, give a person a fish, you know, and you feed that person for a day, teach a person how to fish, they can feed themselves. My thing is, you give a person an idea and you enrich their life, but you teach somebody how to learn, how to read, how to focus, how to remember, and they can enrich their own life. The ability to learn how to learn, and reading is part of that. You know, I, I, I think there are five areas of learning that we focus on in the book. There's a chapter on focus, study, technical material, speed reading, memory enhancement, and critical thinking skills. I think those are the five modern day superpowers that will elevate all of you to soar to new heights, um, cape, cape optional. But the, it's, it's overcome digital deluge, information overwhelm, 
right? The amount of information feels like you're taking a sip of water out of a fire hose, you know, and you know, you're drowning information, but you're not taught how to surf or how to swim or how to kayak, right? And that's what we want to teach you. Then there's digital distraction. Every ring and ping and ding that just uh, like, share, comment, you're driven to distraction. That's why you focus on focus and concentration, you know, and then digital deluge, digital distraction. These are the four horsemen of the, of the mental apocalypse, digital dementia, where you're relying on your smart device as an external memory tool. So you can't even remember, like it keeps your to-dos, keeps your calendars, it keeps your phone numbers. Like how many phone numbers did you know growing up, right? How many phone numbers do you know now? <laughs> That's embarrassing. That's digital dementia. Your brain, it's use it or lose it. Your memory is use it or lose it. Your memory, and we're going to talk about how to remember what you read, uh, uh, I think tomorrow. There's no such thing as a good or bad memory. There's a trained memory and an untrained memory. There's no such thing as a good or bad memory. There's a trained memory and an untrained memory. And so, you know, when's a lot, there's no class called remembering back in school. There's three R's, reading, writing, arithmetic. But what about retention? What about recall? What about remember? Socrates says learning is remembering. And the largest chapter in Limitless is actually the chapter on memory. I wrote it in Greece because a lot of the techniques that I pull from came from ancient Greece. I wanted to know what did uh, they do before there was printing presses and smart devices? How did they remember and pass on? And I love technology. It allows this to happen. But it, technology is a tool for you to use. But if technology is using you, then who becomes the tool? right? Then we become the tool and we don't want that, right? And then finally, besides digital deluge, information overwhelm, which creates stress, anxiety, higher blood pressure, compression, leisure time, digital distraction, which you can't concentrate to get things done, digital dementia, or we're forgetting because we're, our mind is not getting exercised the way it used to, digital deduction. And that's just a term that I created to say that, you know, that technology is often doing the thinking for us. It has algorithms, right? It's feeding you one point of view and uh, we're never gonna see, you know, we don't see things from another perspective and we get lazy because thinking takes energy. And because of our current diet, uh, sleep habits and high sleep hygiene, stress management, we don't have the energy we need to, to really do the great things that we need to do. So I talk about really great techniques that I pull from neuroscience and ancient wisdom on how to be able to boost your memory. But the last one is digital deduction, how to think and, uh, and be able to create and make good decisions and solve problems. And that's really the goal. All right, I know that's a lot of information, but in the remaining 10 minutes, what I wanna open up is, uh, Jenna, maybe we could do some Q&A with people here in Facebook, in the app, uh, on Zoom. We still have uh, 1.9, we have 2,000 people there. We have over 1,000 people on Instagram. What are some burning questions people have about what's going on, specifically on reading? Let's stick to reading a little bit. What kind of reading? Multiple books at the same time. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, yes, the app is on the computers. It's, it could be web-based, and we also have a downloadable app um, on Android and also on um, also on uh, the uh, underlining with your non-dominant hand. Yeah, I like actually using my non-dominant hand. If you if you use a visual pacer with your left hand, it actually stimulates a different part of your brain. Um, as your body moves, your brain grooves. You know, studies done at Oxford saying that jugglers actually have bigger brains. They create more white matter. And so I would challenge you if you use, from the last lesson to use your opposite hand, try that. Um, different books. I do read multiple books at the same time. This is all preference. Um, you know, one distinction, I read nonfiction during the day. I read fiction at night. Um, I never read nonfiction books at night because nighttime is when you need to phase into rest and digest, parasympathetic, right? For those of you who know that term, parasympathetic, rest and digest. And I find reading a book on business or neuroscience or psychology or whatever I'm into at the time, it gets me in my executive brain and I start thinking and I like that way. I don't want, the fiction helps to soothe. And actually fiction reading, most of my books um, are nonfiction for the longest time, but the past few years, maybe more fiction for the joy of it. Also, fiction reading has been proven to improve your EQ. And I'm not talking about IQ, but your EQ, your emotional intelligence. It helps to foster uh, uh, creativity, imagination. You're reading things, uh, that narrative allows you to see things from different perceptual positions. It improves, increases empathy. So fiction is just as important as reading nonfiction books. And so everybody has a to-do list. I would encourage everyone to have a to-read list. To-read list, 
you know, like it's something that I'm like, I'm very inspired, Jenna, like by, I say, I, I've read a number of those books behind you um, because I just, it, I get so much of, of my inspiration comes from, from fiction reading. Um, so multiple books, fine, have a, a reading list. And the most important thing is to schedule your reading each day, because if you don't schedule it, it's not going to, it's not going to happen. I mean, the three questions I'm obsessed with, guys, is when I read, how can I use this? I'm always like, how can I use this? How can I use this? How can I use this? Even when I'm reading fiction or I'm watching, like I could be watching a play or something. I'd be like, oh, how can I create that online? You know, I come to those experiments. How can I use this? And then that gets you all the answers. Um, then I ask, why must I use this? Because a lot of people know what to do, but they don't do what they know. Common sense is not common practice, right? Knowledge alone is not power. It only comes power when we apply it and we put it to action. So I ask, why must I use this? So how can I use this? Why must I use this? That's the emotion, the heart. And then the hand, head, heart, hand, H cube, it's a master success formula. You can visualize things in your head, feel it emotionally, right? So it's not just the law of attraction, there's a law of action with your hands too. And how do you tap into the hands is when will I use this? So how can I use this? Why must I use this? When will I use this? Because if you don't schedule it, you schedule meetings with your investors or with the, your children's doctor's appointments or parent-teacher conferences or, you know, uh, potential prospects for your sales, whatever. But we don't always schedule our workouts or our meditations or, or the things, or schedule even our sleep. Like you have an alarm to wake up, I would challenge you to have an alarm to go to bed. And, uh, and your brain loves that consistency, your circadian rhythms. And we've done eight podcasts on optimizing your sleep. So make sure you listen to that um, again. So that works. Um, obviously you wanna minimize distractions in your environment, but you also wanna minimize the distractions in your own mind. You wanna be able to conquer your mind. That's why we meditate, right? I've done multiple episodes and we talk about it in the book, how in you know, my process for meditation, but I don't do it to, my goal is not to transcend um, and become enlightened. My, my goal is to train my focus. Remember this, your focus is not something you have, it's something you do. And it, just like memory is not something you have, it's something you do. You don't have a memory, you do a memory. There's a process. You don't have creativity, you do creativity. And so you don't have motivation, you do motivation. So our goal was to show people how to do these things. Um, if you're just joining us, um, you know, we're actually you know, wrapping up and I have some, some, some big announcements here, is we're doing the Limitless uh, Reading Challenge. My, my thesis here is that we could create a big movement uh, where we can raise the collective intelligence of the world, where every problem that you are facing right now, somebody has come up with an answer in a book somewhere, right? And you don't have to reinvent the wheel. The challenge is, is most people don't read because they're not good at it, because they're out of practice. So I'm gonna encourage everyone to read 20 pages a day, which equates to about 30 books a year. And to make it fun, uh, we have all these prizes, and you see me show the brain box here with uh, signed books, uh, books from our past podcasts, uh, you know, limitless shirts, brain shirts, and uh, brain foods and supplements, all that fun stuff, um, just to encourage people to do it. To participate, just hashtag the book you're reading, hashtag limitless challenge, I'm also there. If you don't have limitless book, go to limitlessbook.com. And so if that's, um, and, the, and then if you wanna go deep, in our training, I invite you to go to jimquick.com forward slash special. And that link is also on my Insta. All these links are on my Instagram profile. And all our programs this week are 50% off. We have students in 195 nations. They're 100% money back guaranteed. You could use, go through the entire program if you're not thrilled with your results. If you don't triple your reading speed with better comprehension, enjoyment, then you get a full refund. Uh, we donate a good portion of that to, to charity also as well. This is all replayed this week. We're doing an hour every single day this week to go deep in the area of reading. Yesterday we did speed reading, today we did reading comprehension. Tomorrow we'll do more focus and concentration. We're gonna do the next day limitless mindset, the mindset of how to get over the, the that inner chatter, that the subvocalization that says you're not good enough, that you're not smart enough, um, and uh, motivation, all right? So we're gonna put that all together to turn you into a, what I call a quick reader, all right? And so all of this recordings will be in the app. The app is absolutely free. And I would remind you that knowledge alone is not power. For every hour you spend reading or hour you spend on Clubhouse, hour you spend listening to podcasts, spend another hour putting it into action, all right? Because that's the difference. And then your the life we live are the lessons we teach, right? And don't, so don't, this is my thing with, with even with 
people online marketing and I have no, I, marketing's great. It's a lot of, marketing for me is sharing something you believe in with people you, that can benefit from it, right? But a lot of people say, what I want you to do is show, you know, so, so I don't, don't say it, show it, don't promise it, prove it, right? And so do it for yourself and then you're the, the life you have, like the results will speak for themselves. So even when you have friends and family members that try to pull you down, they're energy vampires, like why you listen to that, always online, taking notes, reading all those books, you know, why don't you do this? You know, they could have good intentions, they could be sincere, but they could be sincerely wrong, right? Um, they cannot want to lose you. They don't want you to outgrow them. They don't want you to get disappointed, get your hopes up, you know, but remember you have agency, right? That your life is like an egg, that if an egg is broken by an outside force, life ends. But if it's broken by an inside force, life begins. Great things begin on the inside and you have greatness inside of you. You have genius inside of you. And when is now the best time to let it out? I wanna thank you guys for, for joining me. Thank you so much. Thousands of people are watching on Zoom and our Facebook group um, and Instagram. Uh, make sure everything happens in the app. You notice on Instagram, I haven't been posting a lot lately the past couple of weeks because I've been so into Quick Brain Universe uh, and our app. That's where you have direct access to me and our team. And we're sharing the best of what I know there to be able to be supportive of you. And please share this and enjoy the contest and all the challenges. Remember this, with challenge comes change. With challenge comes change. And may your days today, may you sleep well tonight with these amazing dreams. May you wake up with energy and focus, with power and purpose. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow at the same time. Thanks, Jenna. Thank everybody. Thank you in Instagram land. <laughs> Bye now.